Harvest is the culmination. And it's also this massive amount of work. We start at six in the morning. A lot of times we don't finish till 10 at night and it's day after day after day, no matter what. It's kind of like running a marathon. You don't stop to think about it, you just run. Plus, if you stop to think about it, you might wonder, why am I doing this? It's definitely full steam ahead right now. Dash for the finish. All strains have their own characteristics. Then you kind of have to learn for each, each strain. What's, what is it going to do? How's it going to finish out? What are its telltale signs? There's a bittersweet sensation that happens during harvest. It is the culmination of the entire season and every decision that we made along the way. And then it's an exercise in letting go. Because you're using all of your senses to grow the plant over eight months. And it's an intimate relationship. We start harvesting mid-September and we hope to be done by the end of October. Then it takes a few more weeks to get everything dried and organized. Super frosty. This plant knows how to survive and thrive through this changing environment. So that is a really comforting thing. Nine and... 7.9. It's really fun to get to follow these plants that you really do grow to love over the season. And now it's that exciting stage of knowing these plants will go out and be in somebody's life. Curing is as much of an art as growing. It's making sure the humidity is right, that the temperature is right. We're growing top shelf weed here. And in order to do that, we need to be perfectly careful about every step in the process. The transition into fall is really about a shift in frequencies. The summer is this high frequency, super energetic buzz. And then in the fall, the frequencies come down to this low frequency hum. It's deep and it's ancient. There's a great sense of accomplishment and gratitude, coupled by the understanding that the work isn't over. Once all of the flour gets bucked down, it's going to go into processing. So in a way, this is when we say goodbye to the flour. It's true. It's also a really important part of the process as well because it's like the last eyes kind of really. Yeah, it's definitely a quality control piece. And it kind of brings you closer to the experience of where is this going next and who's going to be experiencing this? Like Whose day is it going to brighten? Yes. The harvest is over, but you don't just get to go home. You have to put the farm to sleep we get to regenerate the soil over the winter and spring. So that starts now, as soon as the plants are out of the ground. to get the farm ready for winter. It's kind of the, the wind down. It's been a long, it's been a long hard year. We're gonna go through and we're gonna sow cover crop. The cover crop will soak up the nutrients. We'll cut it in the spring and incorporate it back into the top layer of the soil to be able to just continue the cycle. Weighing these plants so we can enter the waste into metric so that the state has every gram of plant matter accounted for. 
Metric is pretty much the state system to try and check people from possibly putting product out on the black market. The system's just obviously set up for indoor growers. If it was uh, kind of a normal season and it was raining right now, these things might even weigh twice as much as they do now. It's so variable that I just don't understand why this really matters. It feels good to make it through the hurdles, the permitting processes, the layers to compliance. It's a lot more complicated than in the past. There was a time where I felt like I knew exactly what the path was and it was very easy. And every year it gets more complicated and more difficult and I become a little less sure. I've spent no idea how many hours reading proposed legislation, going to supervisors meeting and advocating or going to the state legislature to advocate. Enforcement without opportunity is a broken paradigm. We've made a marked difference in the process, but there's a lot more to it than that. The way that the regulatory system has been crafted is exceptionally difficult and it is wiping out a lot of the traditional farmers. I've always felt I needed to figure out how to navigate this for myself, for my family, for my community. It's been the hardest thing I've ever tried to do. Solidarity is a basic human need, I think trying to navigate this complex and changing system and trying to do it together. And that's something that has been a, a very, very powerful experience and something that I treasure deeply. Being with Casey and Amber today it is acknowledging a connection and a shared path that we have. It's really special to have the moments we share be around things that are so profound as taking a life for food. Taking life is never easy. It's never easy. But we are so thankful for these goats and for every moment of their life, from their first breath until their last. And we wish that this is a swift passing and your energy will go into this family and in that way you are always here. I've heard it said many times that animals that are raised in this way have one bad day. And we try to make that bad day as brief and painless as is possible. We feel very fortunate to have a direct connection with the lives that will continue to provide us with life. As a society, we are extremely disconnected from our food supply. And that goes for vegetables and for meat. When we turn our head from it, the people that we leave responsible for it have different values than we do. When we take that back from industrial agriculture, we can create something better. We've chosen a hard path. We've chosen to have a life dependent on all these factors that are outside of our control. The warming, the summer, the, the, the cooling, the fall, the loss of leaves, the cold, the rain. And on that canvas of the seasons, we paint the lessons and the choices we make. successful year is being able to navigate this incredibly complex transition while focusing primarily on the health and well-being of these plants and the people here. It has taken more resilience and more endurance to get through this season than any other. In some ways, this is the best year we've had. I would say this has been a long season. It's been a good season. It's been a joy to participate in this journey. Much love and great success. Cheers. To a season well grown. Great success. Cheers, y'all.
This is definitely the original Christmas tree. The presents are the tree. Happy holidays.